Terry. I'm a, a home builder with Elite Homes. I'm also the campaign chair for the 2011-2012 uh, campaign for the Fund for the Arts. And I'm really excited about this coming year. The last couple of years, the campaign has been on a decline because of the economy, but we have plans this year to really turn that around and to, uh, and to get it back to where it needs to be. Uh, I, uh, during the first few months of my uh, chairmanship, I have met with all of the fund groups and have enlisted their support into the campaign this year, talked to them about what their dreams, aspirations are, what the challenges that they are, that they face uh, this coming year. And I think there's a lot of excitement around the campaign. You know, there's a lot of change in the Fund for the Arts right now. At the very top of the leadership, there's a new uh, president uh, on the board. And of course, the campaign chair changes every year. So uh, there's going to be some new ideas, some new energy. Uh, after being involved with Extreme, I think it's time for an extreme rebound in the way uh, the campaign has been going and some extreme changes. I think what we're going to try to do, one of the things we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a whole lot more people involved. You know, a lot of the people that have supported the Fund for the Arts are the same people that have for the last 10 years. And there's so many people out there that would be willing to support the campaign if they're just asked. And so this year we intend to find them and to ask them. And uh, I know in my industry, when I got involved with the orchestra in 2003 and started asking builders and people in construction to get involved, a lot of them had never been asked to get involved and they didn't quite see the connection of why the arts were important to their business. Once we made that connection and showed how they connect and kind of connect the dots, then they were more than willing to help out and to, uh, to do what I had asked of them. You know, I got involved in the arts in 2003 and if you think back then that's when Louisville just had merged government and I was looking for a way to get really involved in the community and um, back in 2003 we were the 17th largest city there's a lot of excitement around the city and there was something in the paper that the Louisville Orchestra had missed the payroll was in some kind of financial difficulty and and I don't know why, but I just got goosebumps when I heard that, that, like, this is it, this is what I'm supposed to do. And I did what any reasonable person, I think, would do, was just ignore it for a while. But every time it was in the news or on TV, I just felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. And as that situation played out, at, one point, at some point I got the courage to get involved and call the board president of the orchestra and ask if maybe I could help out between the musicians and the orchestra and, and help negotiate something that both sides could live with. And my motivation for doing it was because I just felt like Louisville uh, is an arts town. I mean, we don't have professional sports. We have positioned ourselves as an arts town. We're very proud of the fact that we have all the major arts groups. And if we would have lost that, it would diminish the diminish our community somewhat. And I, in fact, our relocation guide right at the very front says Louisville's an arts town boasting an opera, ballet, orchestra, and theater. And I thought, oh gosh, I'll have to print all new relocation guides, you know, if the orchestra uh, ceases to exist. So I, I got involved, and when I got involved with uh, the builders and asked them to help me, I said, you know, I don't think if the orchestra goes out of business or the arts are diminished in our community, it's going to change how many houses you build this year. But I think down the road, it hurts our community. People that are looking to move here or businesses that are looking to relocate here, there's just some, there's fewer things that they have for their leisure time or things that they, they might enjoy. There might be a, a president or CEO of a big corporation and, and the arts is really what motivates him and is important to him for the quality of life for his employees. And so uh, I got involved for that reason, just to try to help the community and, uh, and because I felt like I could bring some people that had never been involved into to, to get involved if I could make a make the case to them in a way that made sense and uh, it's it's changed my life I've made it so much more richer and uh, changed my family's life and and was really so happy that I chose to get involved in 2003 and then here I am now as the campaign chair in 2011 2012 who would have thought but uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge and, uh, and I'm psyched up to, uh, to, 
to, to try to turn, it, turn this around and get our uh, goal back up to a level that all of the arts can thrive and not just survive. Mm -hmm.